So whichever text editor I'm using at the current point in time, I always tend to seek out some kind of quick jump plugin. I'm thinking about plugins like Ace Jump, Jumpy, Easy Motion, those kinds of things. The sort of thing that lets you get around the buffer on screen but without having to touch the mouse. Since I'm using NeoVim currently, I wanted to try out the latest and greatest of those kinds of plugins and see which ones are preferred. So the three that I'm going to look at in this video are Quickscope, Hop and Lightspeed. A couple of things drew me to Quickscope. Firstly, it doesn't require you to learn any new shortcuts or do any kind of config. Also, while it's been around for a couple of years, as of recording this, it got updated four days ago, so it's still an active development. The point of Quickscope is that it provides a highlight of a unique character in every word on a line. So let me show you how that works. It's super simple install. Literally, you just add it to your package manager. And then as you can see, once it's installed, as you move down the lines, you get characters highlighted in each sentence. And then you can use the normal Vim motions you already know to move forwards and backwards on the line. So, you know, capital T will move you backwards to a character, T will move you forwards. It's easiest to think of Quickscope as a as a visual helper rather than something extra because it isn't actually adding any new motions or, or functionality. Now, like all the motion plugins that we're looking at here, it also works with a visual mode too. I've been using this for a few days and I'm a little torn. I really appreciate that there aren't any extra shortcuts to learn and it's not messing with any of the default Vim functionality, but seeing those highlights continually is pretty disconcerting. I find it quite distracting and it's almost limited in some instances because you don't get a highlight in each word, so you can always get yourself in the general area of something, um, but it's just not exactly pinpoint. Next up is Hop. I've had this one installed for the longest of the three, but only recently, after tweaking the config a little, started to make good use of it. But before I get to that, let's take a look at how it works. Now, the project description reads, Hop is an easy motion-like plugin allowing you to jump anywhere in a document with as few keystrokes as possible. Set up slightly more involved than Quickscope, you add it with your package manager and then add some key bindings for the different modes. That might seem a little laborious, but at least this way you know it's not going to interfere with anything else. There are a few different ways you can use it. I tended to use the line mode and the two character mode initially. Like Quickscope, you can do visual extends with it too, regardless of whether you use the one or the two character or word mode. My issues initially were when I instantiated hop and then I choose a character to get to, what I think is a point, and I press that character, I actually have to press another character to get to that point. It might just be me, but I find that quite a lot of cognitive load. It just doesn't always flow for me. I didn't really see that the second character was there all along. Well, the good news is that if that bothers you too, Hop is very configurable. So what I ended up doing is adding some new hex cores for the hints, which means both the first and second key hints get the same bright color. My key binding is just H to start Hop in word mode, and then a two character sequence to jump there. Now, this only really works for me because not only do I tend to use the arrow keys for navigation rather than HJKL, but because I'm using a, a Colmac keyboard layout, HJKL are actually pretty redundant to me in normal mode. So with a simple H mapping for word mode and an L to give me the line mode version and those color tweaks in the settings, I actually started to find Hop very usable and very understandable to use. Lightspeed makes the boldest claims of the bunch. It says, for making on-screen movements with yet unprecedented ease and efficiency. Lightspeed is also the most aggressive of the three in that it takes over key bindings like little f, big f, little t, big t to move around the buffer. Now, whenever a, a plugin takes over sort of standard Vim motions, it starts to make me a little bit uneasy, makes my spidey sense tingle a little bit. When a, a plugin does that, you need to be absolutely aware that you've got that plugin installed all the time. For example, I had an incident where I spent longer than I'd like to admit trying to troubleshoot a macro that I was writing because it had F in there, little f in there, and I'd forgotten that I'd got Lightspeed installed as well. And in Lightspeed, F doesn't do what F usually does. It operates across a whole um, section rather than just a single line. So if you're going with Lightspeed, you've got to be aware of that. It's a swallow the whole pill kind of scenario. The other distinction with light speed is that you have to consider the motion that you want to move in from the off. Now generally that's fine because you usually know whether the target you're after is above or below you, but it does add a little bit more cognitive load because in my instance I'm either pressing H, capital H to go up, or little h to go down. Now that's obviously no harder than um, 
T or capital T in normal Vim motions, but it's not as straightforward as having the same key value regardless to invoke that mode. There are lots of features in Lightspeed. Just one example is that if you perform a Lightspeed search, you can invoke the same search by invoking Lightspeed and then pressing Enter. So again, nice if you can remember that sort of thing. And like Hop and Quickscope, it will work with selections too. But some of the cleverer concepts with Lightspeed are just a bit too clever for me. For example, he has this concept of groups where the second lot of targets is highlighted differently. Now this is so that you can use a key for a group switch and then a key for the target within that group. But honestly, I, I just found it too hard to remember these details. And here's another situation where I'm left confused. So in the paragraph here with my cursor at the beginning, if I want to get to the cursor after example in this string of text, I press my key to start light speed and then the comma key, which is where I want to get to. And what I can see is that the one I want to get to is comma and then space. So naturally, I go to press the comma there, as so that's what I want to get to. But look what happens. So it turns out what I should have done in that situation is actually press the space key instead. And I just didn't find that particularly intuitive. And there's been multiple occasions where something similar has happened. And I've been left a little bit confused as to why it didn't do what I expected it to do. I don't really think I can call a particular one of these plugins the best motion plugin for NeoVim. It's more a case of looking at these and trying to decide which one best suits your mental models. For me, at the minute, that just so happens to be Hop, but that doesn't diminish the value of the other plugins. It's just that for me, that suits the way I think about things. Quickscope I like because it's respectful of Vim's standard motions and it's just giving you a kind of helpful hint as to what you could do on that line. But for me, I just found that visual noise on every single line um, too much to cope with, with it being there constantly. Lightspeed, I think there's a lot to like with Lightspeed. It's got the extra cognitive load of having to decide whether you're going up or down, which admittedly seems a bit ridiculous when we're used to th using things like F and T in Vim. Um, but again, it was just for me, didn't quite suit my mental model quite right. So personally, the one that I'm using to day-to-day -day still is Hop. When, once I've done that sort of configuration to get the, the two characters the same sort of brightness, I find I'm able to quite easily invoke Hop with a single key and then type my two characters to jump to where I want to go. And I like the fact that it stays out of the way until I call it um, to do its thing. Tiny little thing, but it might also be worth considering that Hop seems to be significantly faster than Lightspeed when it comes to startup times. Um, I profiled both of them five times with each plugin installed. We're talking milliseconds here, so it's not something to get hung up about, but Hop was considerably faster in comparison to Lightspeed um, each and every time that I ran it, so that's maybe something you want to factor in as well. So yeah, if you want more keyboard, web, tech stuff, spoon fed into your YouTube inbox. Be sure to subscribe and give the video a like if it was useful. See you next time.